guys. Good morning. It's our last morning day. Today we go back to New York. Last time, last day in Toronto today. Last day in Toronto. In the six. Last day in the six. We have had great weather while we're here. It's warm. Great. Jack. Hey. What's your favorite thing about Toronto so far? Food? Food. I mean, your visit? Haha. <laughs> I feel like it's a a hard, like, shitty time to ask someone what their favorite thing is about. Because Jack and Khalees are currently going through very similar, if not even harder than when we first got to New York. That whole, like, settling into a new city and you got to find a house. But yeah, it can, it can be tough when you first move to another city. Like, because it's mad and it's exciting and it's a whole new adventure. But also, stuff that's, like, really mundane and easy back home is hard because you don't understand how it works in a different country. No, they don't understand how it works properly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Jack said. But also, oh, just here there's a sharps bin for you if you want to put your syringes in something, Jack. Anyone want a drink? Anyone want <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Yeah, probably text you guys in like 10 minutes. Yes. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Going to Billy Bishop, please. Okay. Thank you. Look at how <laughs> insanely small this airport is. Like that's, that's the whole airport. Billy Bishop Airport. But it's right downtown. Like that's downtown just there. There was $8 in a cab from Jack and Police's place to here. It was very quick. Was that even five minutes? Less, less than five minutes in a car. Luna was like, okay, cool, this is fine. Are we here now? Hi. So quick. <laughs> Turns out we've got to go down in an elevator across a tunnel over that water that I just showed you. And it's on the other side. This is a crazy cool weird something airport. We're also here really early. I don't think we real. I think like we thought it was gonna be like 20 or 30 minutes in the car and it was like five minutes. And even then if it was 20 or 30 minutes, we still would have been early to the airport. This airport is I'm gonna, like an iceberg. We just saw the first front a little bit and then we went under a tunnel and then it's like an actual proper small to medium sized airport on the other side. I'm not gonna say big, <laughs> not gigantic, but it is a decent sized airport. They have complimentary beverages and snacks of which Luna threw all of hers on the floor. Um, super nice, just renovated. A little busy because some flights were delayed, but I played the long game and got us some like, bougie swivel chairs um so now it's gonna wait like everything happened so quickly we got through here like it uh, the fastest i've ever gone through any airport not complaining just now we have hours to kill <laughs> we're used to it taking an hour in a car to get to jfk and then like 30 minutes to an hour and a half to get to, through security and then like you probably got to walk like four hours from there to your gate and maybe get on a shuttle or something we literally went we went from jack and police's airbnb to being checked in waiting where we are at the gate right now in 25 minutes total like all of it all up 25 like five minutes in the car five minutes to check in 10 minutes through security like what's that that's like 20 minutes then max so quick so we're running way ahead of sketch 328 right now and uh i guess we'll board in about an hour and then we'll be on a plane <laughs> luna literally just did a poo as they were like we're boarding right now i could not have timed it worse Great, how are you? Good, thank you. Oh, we have their outside. Thanks for your Uh, we're on the plane that Fee's gone straight into the bathroom to change Luna. There's a stinky poo and literally couldn't have been timed worse. Like literally as Luna was like I looked over, saw her doing that, and then there was an announcement like 
All right, boarding flight 141 to New York. I'm now boarding anyone with children and people that need extra time to get on, like at the exact same time. So we came onto the plane and we went straight to the bathroom to sort that out. Nice and spacious in uh, airplane bathrooms for changing pooey diapers. I imagine it'll be a real relaxed experience. How'd you go, mate? You got a stinky bum? Well, oh, I just started screaming. I think I've gone deaf. I imagine it was a large space for her to scream in. I just couldn't have my bag on. I'd take my bag on to the outside because there was nowhere to put it. It was that tight. Mm -hmm. It was so small. Well done on getting the job done, mate. That angle I got that on. How about I fix that? Uh, it's a little bit drunk, mate. On the pus. It's a little bit delirious like you are. Oh. Hey, we made it home. I was just going to say hi. Oh. Don't get too close. There's one can of LaCroix for sharing, I guess. Luna was... Honestly, I don't even know how good Survivor's iPad didn't exist. Yeah. She just watched the iPad the whole way home. To and parents that insist on not doing iPads or oh. technology, power to you, absolute power to you. I don't know how you do it. But it was a lifesaver today. The flight from the first like 20 minutes on the plane from Toronto, Luna just screamed. Just like- Wait a minute. I was gonna go off like 45. She was hysterical and then slept for, for ages and woke up and, and screamed then, the whole of the landing. Yeah, she was like screamy and then really cute and then screamy. And then after that, the rest, like once we arrived, we stood in line for like an hour to clear customs. It took another hour to get home on the car. She was great. Just sat there and just chilled, but. She was so good. And thanks then we, for iPads, Apple. Dear sweet baby Steve Jobs. Thank you. Um, I'm delirious. But then when we got home, she was just like, put her in pajamas, she lay down a bit and was like, that was that was her falling asleep. Just She cuddled up to her little baby doll so cutely. It was really cute. I'm delirious. It's been a great weekend. It's been a really great weekend. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.